sure the sea lion from last week's video got some help, I continued my journey north up the Pacific Coast Highway. There was a three-hour stretch between Rockport and Eureka, California that separated from the beach and went through the dense forest. I spotted a river as I drove over a bridge and pulled over immediately at the sight of fresh water. I'd been using the salty ocean as my shower for a few days, which was better than nothing but far from ideal. The water here was amazing, but I was pretty nervous because I kept hearing animal noises and hadn't seen another person on the road in hours. About a hundred miles later, I hit the coastline again. I took a quick walk here, but there was no overnight parking signs, so I figured it'd be best to drive some more before sunset. That's when I stumbled across this magical Jurassic Park looking place, hidden down a small turn with no sign. I made some avocado toast on the trunk of my car for dinner, and then took one of the best walks of my life. to the end. By the time I got back to my car, it was already past dark, so I drove about a minute down the street from the beach area and just pulled over right on the side of the road to get some sleep. It turned out great, nobody bothered me, and barely any cars passed by. It was about 7 in the morning, so I headed to the gas station to get some coffee. So I just parked here after I got my coffee, and then I just made this contraption. So this is plain rolled oats with chia and flax seeds. I added cinnamon, protein, honey, cinnamon, peanut butter, a teeny spoonful of Nutella. I cut up fresh apples and I cut up a few uh, dates. So that's what I'm eating for breakfast with my coffee. I actually got a, a latte from that gas station and then I mixed it with a little hot chocolate. <laughs> It's a little chilly this morning, so. Oh, now I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this view. And then, uh, not really sure what I'm doing today, but I'll figure it out.
After leaving Redwood State Park, I drove down the street a little bit more and spotted some wild moose, so I pulled over to take some videos and observe them. Then, as I kept heading north, I pulled over to this beach so I could freshen up in the water a little bit and relax. I ended up taking a walk and spotting a starfish, and also a sea lion that kept popping his head out of the water to look at me. I left the beach and sat in my car for a while, looking up spots on iOverlander that I could possibly sleep for the night. I found one about 10 miles away, close to a library, so I figured I would camp out and then wake up early to head to the library and edit some videos. So I found this little nook spot to park for the night on iOverlander. Um, it's like above the ocean. It was about eight miles away, but apparently there's a beautiful view. So I'm gonna go check it out now for sunset. to Brookings and explore a little bit and then probably go to the library in that town. 